Hello everybody, my name is Blue Ben and welcome back to a new video. We're playing Game of Thrones again. So we're still in episode one. And we arrived at a new destination. Oh, what is in this iron wood box? Hmm. Let's open the shit. <gasps> a coin and books. Old books. Yankish coin, okay. Asher sent me this coin to remember oh. him. What a strange place, Essos. Sure is. It is a strange place on Earth. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. What is that? It once belonged to Lady Elena. Okay. So another coin. Another coin. Okay, the book. Carved ironwood tree. What Even exactly is that? Oh. Okay. And an unfinished letter. Okay. Let's read this. No? She doesn't want to read that? Okay. Never mind then. Unfinished letter. Let's just... Okay, look at it. Maybe I need to read it first. Oh. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Hmm. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Okay. Let's close that box again. Never mind then. We just walking along. Walking through this room. Oh wow, look at this. Look at those edges. Oh, that's blurry and that's fuzzy. <gasps> oh, why? I think that's an art style. It should be. Because this, this can't be next gen graphics. Look at the window. He's landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. I don't know, I don't think so. Because in Iron Raft there's no sun. Only suns. No sun. Okay. So there's... Oh, there's something. Look at that cool coal brazier. I, I, was, I was saying cool brazier. <laughs> no way. Okay. Nothing there. Then, oh wow, electric electric chair. What the heck? There's F. Oh, dusty old tome. That looks interesting. That's something I don't want to look made at. by man, by Lomas Longstrider. Okay. A gift from Roderick. Roderick. Roderick is dead. Roderick got crushed back. I hope to horse. see them all someday. Hmm. I don't think so. Cause he got crushed by a horse, like I said. The old horse crusher. <laughs> There's a letter. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> it troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There's somebody on the door. Let's open that shit. No? Wait. Stop. Don't open. Let's just jump out of the window. I think that's the best idea. Okay, I'm coming. Coming. Oh. Just a little boy. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Okay. Strange boy. Uh, let's no, it's fine. Come in. You're just there, so come in. No, oh, he's a cold boy. Begging your pardon, my lady. Not cold boy, cold right. boy. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. <laughs> I avoided this question, Please okay? Hurry if you can. 
Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Yep. More or less. I may but... be wrong. But it seems like you do. I'm her. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. Okay. You seem like good friends. Hmm. Hmm. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night. Bye bye, boy. Uh oh, that is bad. Oh, hello. Lady Marjorie. Hello, Queen. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Okay. Coming with ya. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Oh. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. Mm -hmm. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands mm. an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. So don't be angry See if, if I say something you don't like. Receive us. Okay. If I say she's good and you're bad, then don't be angry at me because you said I should appease her. You'll be fine. I know you will. You I may hope. feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay, I have a blessing, so let's just move on. Good luck. Thank you. You look kind of worried. Am I going to die? I hope not. Okay, welcome to the throne room. You can do this. Can I? I'm not certain about this. Hey, wait a minute. Why can I? Oh, now I can walk. <laughs> what the heck was that? Wow, I'm walking so slow. What the heck is going on? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this Yo, my boy. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? And that old hag? With your permission, 
Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oh shit, my name. <gasps> Well, ah, oh, goddammit, I, I made it. Your grace. Shit. The oh. girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Hey. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has she... any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Roos Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Hmm. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Uh -oh. I see. <laughs> that, I think that was a wrong answer. <laughs> what would you have the girl do, Cersei? Oh, God. It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. She... It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? I don't know, Our no. dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Mm hmm Because I Loyalty will dodge be those questions like never before. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Shut the fuck Tending up, damn it. to be damn something it. they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. I don't care. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. No. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve... What would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. She said I should appease her, and now she's angry at me. What the fuck? 
This may come as a surprise, yes. but I met your father once oh. at the tourney at Lannisport. Okay. Even then, he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. Really? You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Who's there? There's Marjorie nobody there. Humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Mm -hmm. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Oh, Sansa. Sansa's here. Three beautiful here. bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <laughs> She's Mira, like, hello. I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yeah, uh, she was, yes, yes. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Oh. <sighs> Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell. Oh, the, the red, red viper. viper. <laughs> I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Mm -hmm. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Mm -hmm. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> best friends, best friend goals. Let's see, who else should we marry off? I don't know. Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Oh. Sir Bronn and... What oh. are you doing? Oh. Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. 
King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Should I ask for your help? Okay. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Okay, what now? Whatever you wish to Tell say, me. you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Okay. It's about my family. I trust her. Okay, if she trusts her, then the Queen says so. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Seven hells. Now it run away. What is happening? Let's play a little game, shall we? No. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh, that's bad. That, that's bad. He's flaying him. Oh my Not god. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. 
I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, I need to keep say, watching and go back. The naked back. man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north. Okay, so now he does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Oh. What was that? Oh, my lord. Oh, uh oh, we are fucked. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're fucked. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. We made it. Oh no, don't go to him. No, don't look at him, please. No, no, no. Do I really have to look at that? No. I know how this looks. I saw it. In the series. Please don't show it to me, please. Okay. Bloody hell. That was a shocker. So where the heck are we now? Oh. Lord Ethan! Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Hmm. But Maybe. 300 generations of forester lords stand behind you. Okay. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Hmm. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Why? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Okay, what is going on? Please calm down, everybody. I will judge Lord this Ethan. man. Who is this man? Mister. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Will. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Wow. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. No. We'll never survive the coming winter. 
Most of us won't even live to see I it. I will not divide this house. I will together. combine it. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm talking to him. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. Leave the man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from he us. Deserves us. Make him pay for what he stole. Give us justice. Uh, fuck him. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Obviously, I will not kill him. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Yes, I know. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Okay, so we could take three fingers of him and we could send him to the wall. I don't know what that does good. Hmm. So, so sending him to the wall doesn't do any good. Show him mercy will be the best option, I think. And take the three fingers is just stupid because then he can't do shit anymore. And he's useless. So, one of do those two, but I will take, but I will take, um, yes, because this. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. No, he's not. He's just... A brazen thief. He's also a father trying to help his children after we failed him. I cannot punish a man for our negligence. You're rewarding a man who has no loyalty or honor. I'm not rewarding lord, him. We must speak about our gold reserves soon. Yes. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Then get to work, damn it. And everybody hates me. <laughs> I did something good and everybody unpleasant. hates me. But a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. And I know... Who I will pick. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so you there must God? be one advisor above what? the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. My lord. My lord. I'm just a boy. God damn it. And I have this cool bracer. And everybody's looking at me. Nope, you will not get this. Mm, yes. Because I think he has more brain than the other one. And I think more brain is better than more muscle. So hello, Duncan. Let's let me talk Duncan. to you, my boy. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Do you want to be Perhaps my boy? I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Uh, uh, yes. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask. Who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. 
and talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. I Thank think you, so too. Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I think he is the best one because we already told him about no, this uh, special place yeah. of the foresters and he's like he stands behind the house of foresters so I think he's the man. The other one is just a warrior fighting for guts and glory. <laughs> I don't know. So he's not my type of guy. I, I don't trust him very much. I trust him with his fighting skills but mm, Otherwise, I would say Duncan is the better one to choose to ask for counsel. He has more brain. Where is he? God damn it. Ah, oh, there he is. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! He can fight Wrong. all day long, I don't care. I didn't know dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. Of course, my lord. Get the fuck out of my I ring. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. No. Nope. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Yes. He undermined your authority and no. made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. You don't say much, do you, lad? That's good. Reminds me of your brother Asher. What's so, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Okay, so then don't be angry if I choose Duncan. Because I will. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so how can I go back? Do it like you mean it. Shit. Enter the tower. Oh god, please walk faster, please. Please. Ah, damn it. That's it. There you go. There you go, my boy. Get in. Get your ass inside. We will see. Okay, that's not the tower I want to go in. I wanted to go in the courtroom. So I can progress. But that was the wrong direction I took. Okay. That was the wrong shit. Maester. 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 Maester, please. Yes, Maester. Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Oh, hey, hey, yes, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Then go ahead, please, and let this... Let's just get over this. Ah. Royland will be so pissed. And there they are. Up, 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 up. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before yes. I name my sentinel, I must tell you. And there's no shame in losing your both. Well, well, the, the choice was clear. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. But then be on with it. Yes. <laughs> Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. <laughs> Duncan is like, oh shit, I lost. <laughs> but he's like, oh yeah, I won. So, you will be a good warrior on the battlefield. I trust you with your sword and defending me. But I need his counsel because he has the brains that you lack. So... Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? 
This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Yes, I hope so. But I trust you. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they yes, understand. Yes, he will fight, but Gentlemen, first we please. need a plan. How we fight. We can't just run in and fight. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. Damn. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Thank you, Mama. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. Hmm. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Hmm. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Yeah. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. And if it doesn't work, we always can fight. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. I, I don't understand. Why can't he be ready to fight? Forgive and us, I can Lord. do the diplomacy are, course, here to serve and he you can stand in the back and be ready to fight. So I... nobody sees. Well then. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Oh, god Make damn him it. Wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Mm, lord that, Ethan? that sounds good, I have to say, but I can't do that, nope. Because Ramsey is a motherfucking idiot. This this will not work on, on Ramsey. This uh This waiting at the gates will not work at Ramsey. No way. It, it it will only make him angrier at me and everybody else. And then he's just coming inside, so why let him wait outside? The it contradicts everything, so... Nope. I will meet him in the Great Hall. And then I will crush him inside my Lord. wall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's no. enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Wait, me Forgive or him? Me, my Lord. But you are not ready to be Lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Sit down. We need you. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house.
My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? Where's Asher? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Oh, wow. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. Wait, and that's we don't not know. what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? Hmm. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Hmm. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Yeah, we will meet Asher. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. You're my mom. Know what that the you fuck? never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Maybe I'm the lord of this house, yeah, but you're my mom, okay? So, what the heck? Without you, I wouldn't be here anyway, so... Oh, cool. Now we can play with this board thingy here. Ah, okay, we can't. Shit. Examine. Examine. I got something in my eye. What the fuck? What was that? Didn't see it. Shit. Pick up the key. Strange key? Strange. Life is strange key. Okay. <laughs> okay, take the key. Return the key. Why do I need this fucking key? Return the key. Just wanted to look at it. What the fuck? Get out. Marjorie? Marjorie? Oh. She. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Sarah. Thank you. Hmm. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I know. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Mm. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Mm. 
I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. That didn't go as planned, but... Whatever. Couldn't do it. Milady. What the heck? Who are you? Oh. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. You were what? I just want you to know. I can't remember. I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if Wait. you're willing to trust me. Mm -hmm. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Mm. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Be willing to help you. Oh god, that's him. Oh shit. What is he doing here? The mountain. Nope. Ah, I thought it was a mountain because it looked so violet. Violet skin. I thought it was a dead mountain. Spoiler. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. So we'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Sorry, I tried my best, but it didn't work out. So. If needed. We will. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Ah, oh, goddammit, I wanna kill him. Kill Isn't him right now. The only two people. The Just kill them. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard. Bastards. Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Oh, that's Ryan. 
Yo, boy, my boy. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. He's not dead. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. It can't be that difficult. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. Ugh. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? 
Ethan! No! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a ball. No. no. Oh. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though he did bend the knee. I, saw I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let them take me! Let it go! Stop them! Help me! Ryan, please! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. What have I done? That was fucking bad. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ooh, Ethan uh, John is Snow. Until Ryan is home again, this our house Archer. will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Okay, episode two will be fucking crazy. Okay, so this is from episode 1, Iron from Ice, you and 34% left bone behind, okay? You and 62% swore loyalty to the king, okay, that's good. You and 48% freed Eric, okay? Hmm. I shouldn't have met him in the Great Hall, I think. Yeah. Leaving Bowen behind was a stupid move, but I'm so sorry, Bowen. You had to die. Like, like Ethan in this one. Oh man, I'm shook. Ethan is dead. Oh my god, that was so, so bad. Why did that happen? What did I do wrong? I don't even know. If I knew what I did wrong, I would go back and change it. But I don't know. Okay, so this was episode one, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching this uh, episode of Game of Thrones. I'm speechless, and I would like to see episode two, so I hope you too, and I will see you then in my next video. Bye-bye.